I am a person. I am no different from anyone else. I am not weak. I am strong. I face challenges and I solve them on a daily basis. I'm Lisa Kennedy. I am a teacher at Forest High School and I teach the physically impaired students. Word endurance means to me just to keep on going and sometimes when the going gets tough you just keep on going and I think my students are a perfect example of endurance. Endurance to me is the ability to keep going when the rest of the world is telling me to stop. Endurance, the ability to stay strong when the world tries to make you weak. My disability is muscular dystrophy. <gasps> My name is Shauna. My name is Ellen Turner. I'm 17 years old and I'm, I'm diagnosed with cerebral palsy. My disability is like a muscular, um, muscular dystrophy. My disability is cerebral palsy. I can't really walk that good. So I have to be in a wheelchair. Well, I can't walk, which is one, one of the big challenges for me. And um, driving, I can't drive. The big challenges. I have an awful time with my s s speech, which I'm trying to get it under control. I think sometimes when you ask my students if they have a disability, they don't even see that they have a disability, and a lot of them have a lot of self-confidence and everything. Where the, the problem seems to be sometimes is um, with the kids in the general ed, um, they don't know how to act around students with disabilities. And I just think it's really because they, don't, they haven't had experience, or sometimes you fear the unknown. But if they would just come and they talk to these kids, they'd find out how cool they are, because they are just super cool kids. And they're a lot of fun. They've got great sense of humor. And, and they're just, they're hard workers. Um, you know, you've got to give them a lot of credit for that. I think I'm treated like a regular person to an extent. I mean, there's certain times where I feel like people uh, look at me or judge me in certain ways, but I think everybody goes through that. And I see other kids who aren't as fortunate as me uh, being uh, picked on or, or looked at differently because they're in wheelchairs. And, and that's, I, I think that's wrong because I think you should treat everybody with respect no matter what's wrong with them or who they are or, or you know, how, what they look like. They're all, they're all people and we're all people and people should all be treated with respect no matter what. I can do pretty much anything anybody else can do and I find ways to do it no matter what it is. I'm always going to find a way to do something that I need to get done. And, uh, you know, and, and as far as everybody else, follow all the same rules, do all the same things. A few kids may stare a few times, but it doesn't bother me any. Some of the kids, well, make weird faces. And, like, looking at me all weird. I wish that, that they could look at me like a normal person. I look forward to coming to school every day just like my first year of teaching. I, every year I get new students. I do get to keep a lot of students. Um, I have them for the full four years, but it is such a joy to come to school. I, I, I love coming to uh, school to see these kids. Um, they really become a part of our family. Um, we're a really close group and um, I look at them as my children. Well, I like doing work and I like um, having fun and cooking and stuff. Uh, social st studies and <laughs> math and social studies and Sweet legs. I'm a really good guy. I like to talk to people. I usually talk to anybody if I see them. I like to make friends with a lot of people. It's probably about the 
main things um, that's about me. Oh, and girls. That too. I love girls. They just love to come and, and socialize and, and learn and work hard and they have a lot of goals for themselves and, and they really work towards accomplishing them. Teachers are my big support group because uh, without my teachers, of course, I wouldn't get a good education, but just, just growing up with a disability and, and you know, being mainstream my whole life has really uh, made my friends acclimated to me and made it easier for me to get along with them and uh, everything, I mean, uh, just be able to do everything they can do. I'd want to play football if I could walk for one day. I'd want to play football, basketball. I'd want to do everything one day. I'd like to walk, to walk down the aisle to graduation. Most of them, most of the students, when they do graduate, they do have to to live at home. There isn't a lot of support in the community uh, for them. They can go with the Center of Independent Living and there are some programs there but now especially with the fundings uh, being cut in different areas I think it's going to have a serious effect on you know individuals with disabilities. Well it's hard not being able to walk I'm, I mean I, I, I know that uh, I'm God made me this way, and I just have to, you know, roll with it.